Welcome. In, in this presentation, we're going to talk a little bit about claustrum management uh, for these um, uh, heifers as, as they're calving and, and how that is important for their, their calves, uh, particularly as, as they're trying to get these calves to, or this heifer to be a productive uh, female in your herd, uh, having her be able to raise a healthy calf each year. Uh, is good, really starts off with his first calf, and so making sure we get some good claustrum management into that calf to begin with is going to be critical uh, for that, that calf to be able to uh, uh, return something for your uh, investment. One, one of the important parts of, about claustrum, and before we get to claustrum, we have to talk a, a little bit about the, the, the nutrition going into that heifer. Uh, ideally, we'd like these, these heifers to calve at a body condition score of, of six, um, and that's in order to supply the, the amount of nutrition not that, that not only that, that heifer needs but that that calf needs as that calf is is growing particularly puts on about 80 percent of its body weight in those last last three months of, of gestation so it's critical in, the, in this last part of gestation that we get some some good uh, uh, nutrition uh, to, to that that heifer it's also important that she's not losing condition at calving uh, uh, we want to again she needs to calve at a body condition score of six but she we don't want her falling off rapidly going from a seven to a six at calving uh, we need to maintain her at that six or have her, have her at, a, at an increasing plane of nutrition uh, as she's calving at a, at a six. Just real quickly, just to show how important that, that is, this is uh, some data that shows the, the impact of a low energy diet where, where they, these, these were cows, uh, lost almost 100, a little over 140 pounds uh, in, in the 100 days prior to calving uh, versus in another group was fed a low energy diet for 70 days and then the last 30 days of that they, they tried to uh, they increase the energy and tried to get them to gain that weight back, and you can see that that you know there is a the calves born to those those uh, low energy uh, cows uh, weighed about ten pounds less, uh, but um, as far as as the impact on calf survivability, only seventy percent of those calves survived, uh, and the amount of, of disease that they had for particular calf scours was greatly enhanced. So, so just because they, they, they had a smaller calf, those, those calves didn't do better uh, 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 in that case. This is some other data looking at, at body condition score in, in heifers uh, uh, across the top from, from a 2 up to a 6 and the amount of, of, of calf vigor and, and colostrum production that those heifers had. And, and so you can see at a low body condition score of 3, it took almost an hour for those calves to stand on average versus what we more the more ideal body condition score of about of, of six, uh, those calves did in almost half an hour. The amount of colostrum that that heifer produced typically on in, it increases as the body condition score increases, uh, and then if you can combine a calf that's that's vigorous and able to stand and nurse right away, along with a heifer that's producing more more colostrum, uh, you can see in, in the in the, the calf IgG, which is amount the amount of antibodies that that calf absorbed from the uh, colostrum. Uh, those calves born of, of high body condition score heifers had a lot more uh, antibodies that they absorbed compared to the half calves born to low body condition score heifers. So the reason colostrum is so important is, is primarily because of the antibodies, and that's the uh, the calf's immune system for the first couple months of its life. Uh, it relies solely on those antibodies that it uh, gets from colostrum. Uh, colostrum is also very dense in energy and, pr and protein, and, and as that calf is trying to adjust from life outside the uterus, uh, it really needs that, that high energy, high high protein uh, colostrum in the first day for sure, and uh, as, it, as, it, as it adjusts to that. Colostrum also has a lot of vitamins and minerals uh, in it as well uh, to help to help that calf. We typically, for, for, for beef calves, uh, and this is different than, than if you're used to, to dairy calves, but we expect that beef calves should consume 6 to 10 percent of their body weight of colostrum during the first 24 hours. And that's because the reason there's a difference between the dairy calf and the beef calf uh, is that the beef cow's colostrum is a lot more dense, uh, a lot, lot more concentrated than, than, than a, a, a dairy uh, cow's colostrum, and so they need a lot less volume of that, uh, but, but the, the amount of antibodies uh, would, would be similar uh, across the two. Um, the reason that they, they need to get that within that first 24 hours is, is otherwise the, the uh, ability to absorb the antibodies uh, goes away after about 24 hours. Uh, and so the only way we can get that is that they ingest and absorb that colostrum within those that first 24 hours. Uh, if they do not get enough colostrum, they're more likely to get sick. Again, that's their immune function for the first two months of life. And so if they don't have good immunity, uh, they're, they're, not, they're more likely to get sick and, and, and more likely to die. And we've seen that, that 
not only did they have problems early on in life uh, with calf scours and, 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 and pneumonia and those types of things, but it can impact their performance, uh, their health and their, their performance all the way through the feedlot. Uh, if that calf gets behind, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay behind and, and, and not ever catch back up. So it's important that these calves get off to a good, good start. Uh, we worry a little bit about heifers. They don't have near as good as colostrum as cows do. Um, uh, they, they haven't been exposed to all the pathogens that, that cows have, and so, so their, their quality of that colostrum uh, is not quite as, quite as well. That's why a good vaccine program can help to improve the, the colostrum quality. And, they don't, and the, the quantity is not as much either. The heifers don't produce near as, as much uh, uh, colostrum as a cow does. The other thing we have concerns with with heifers is because they, they tend to sometimes not be as good of mothers as a cow is, they're not quite as intense on getting that calf up and, and having that calf nurse. And, and, and if that heifer is not, not uh, forming that mother-calf bond and, and encouraging that calf to nurse, then that can also delay that, that colostrum intake as well. So uh, heifers uh, need to really pay attention to make sure that those heifers are, are, are calves born to heifers are getting colostrum in a timely manner. Uh, if you do have a heifer that has dystocia problems, I uh, generally recommend that, that while you have that heifer locked up, that you go ahead and, and, and milk out some colostrum, even if it's, if it's just a pint, uh, and, and, and give that to that calf at that time frame, just to make sure that, that, that we get that colostrum into that, that calf. It'll stand and nurse some more eventually, but a lot of these dystocia calves are, are weak. Uh, they, they may have some, some hard times nursing if, they're, if they had a, uh, you know, some swelling in their tongue or, or head. That's, that prevents them from nursing well. Uh, the heifer's probably going to be a little bit uh, uh, not as willing to stand there uh, after dystocia, if, if, if not. So, so there's a lot of things against that, that dystocia calf. So while you got that heifer locked up, go ahead and milk out a little bit, uh, give it to that calf, and just make sure that that calf gets off to a good start. And, and again, the, the primary purpose of a good colostrum management in these heifers is that we end up with some calves that we can, we can sell at weaning time uh, in order to go into feedlot. Uh, that are going to be productive uh, 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 animals as well as, as return a profit uh, back to that cow-calf unit uh, so that, that that heifer can be a profitable part of your herd. So thank you very much.